Yo, what up? I woke up like this. Hey, have a great day today. Uh, make the most of it. You only got one shot at today. It ain't ever going to be here again. Go have a great day. And let's go do something with that hair. <laughs> Happy Thursday. It'll be Friday when you're watching this, but I just wanted to give a little public service announcement to the husbands out there. Uh, so, if, as you know, Bo and Ezra have been out of town. They're on the way back. They'll By the time you're watching this, they will be back. Um, but I just decided to go ahead and clean the house. You can ask my wife. She, she, she gives me praises because I'm a speed cleaner. I clean. She, she'll go away for a couple hours. She'll come back and it'll be clean. Anyway, the, my point is uh, I, I put up dishes and turned the, turned the dishwasher on. Had, we had several dishes in there. I ran a load of laundry. I got uh, some towels that needed to be washed before they get home. Uh, vacuumed the floors, mopped the floors, uh, put stuff up, cleaned our bedroom. Uh, I did a bunch of stuff. But my point in all that is, hey, as husbands, sometimes we think we deserve stuff just given to us. Like we don't, I just, I see a lot that, that husbands and dads just don't really help that much. Um, we just, for whatever reason, don't want to serve. And that's part of marriage. So if you want to strengthen your marriage a little bit, I would encourage you just serve a little bit. Like give a little bit more than, than, uh, than maybe you think you should. Give a little bit more than maybe you think you ought to and see what happens, man. Uh, man, I know uh, one of the one of my favorite things to do is to serve and to have her come home. Now, when she says, oh, the house looks great, it makes me feel good inside, of course. But at the end of the day, whether she says it or not, everybody in the world loves coming home to a clean house. Everybody in the world loves coming home and it's smelling good in the house. We got some, I got some air freshener all up in this thing. So, you know, you know, that's going to be make her smile when she walks in. Expected it to be wild and crazy, even though she had cleaned up a pretty good bit before we went to the beach. Shout out to you, baby. I, it would look, look good when I got home. Um, but there's still some stuff that needed to be taken care of, so I did it. My point is, look, you don't have to comment and say, Russ, you're awesome. I'm not expecting that. <laughs> I don't want that. Because I, I, I don't... Sorry about that. My alarm was going off and reminded me I need to leave to go to work. Uh, but I hope that encourages somebody, some husband somewhere to say, hey, look, who cares what everybody else is doing? I want to serve my wife. And part of it, too, is like sometimes we just think, oh, I'll clean later, I'll clean later. But at the end of the day, we need to take care of what we have. Take care of the blessing. Just because, And I know from experience plenty of times that as soon as they get home today with two kids under four, it's going to get messy. There's going to be clothes. There's going to be shoes. There's going to be dirt tracked up in here. But that don't mean I don't need to still try to take care of it the best we can. Hey, your life's going to end one day, but that don't mean you don't need to take care of the blessing today. Ooh, somebody might want to write that down. So just because it's going to get messy again don't mean you don't need to stop and take care of what you got. Because that's part of the blessing. When God sees you, I ain't going to get into it too much, but when when I believe that when God sees you taking care of what he's already given you, that's when he can uh, continue to bless you because he knows you're going to do uh, you're going to take care of that blessing. But anyway, uh, have a great day, and I'll probably have another message for you in the near future. See you soon. I'm on my way to work. I love y'all. I miss y'all. Can't wait to see you today and hug your necks and kiss your lips. I love you. Be careful, and I'll keep me posted along the way as y'all come home today. Love you. Bye. Hey, you like a good warm bath? You like a good warm bath, don't you? Yeah, you like a good warm bath. Yay, they made it home, and Bo, I told her to get up out of here. Well, she told me she was going to get out of here, but I was going to tell her that anyway, so it worked out. She gonna, she went to go pick herself some food and just get out of the house for a minute because she's had the babies by herself for a couple of days without daddy. And uh, Ellie just got a bath. Fresh and so clean, clean. You got your jammies on. You got your jammies on. Yeah. Hey, you got your jammies on. That's my girl. I got her jammies on. You got your jammies on. You ready for me to hold you? With your, with your blonde hair. Your hair's starting to get blonde, girl.